Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. So we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our video. Now, the Oklahoma Sooners, they've been really quiet in the transfer portal in college basketball, but finally some big news is broken for them. John Hoogley, the former center for the Pittsburgh Panthers, has decided to transfer to the Oklahoma Sooners. I'm going to go over how big of an addition this is for the Oklahoma Sooners and Porter Moser, head coach, and whether I think this can help Oklahoma climb up from the bottom team in the Big 12. Now, John Hoogley, he's a really good forward. He's six foot nine, 265 pounds, and he had a really good career at Pittsburgh over several seasons, but his last year of college basketball that he did play for the Pittsburgh Panthers, he really struggled. He only had eight games played, and he only averaged eight points per game in those eight games, and then he was hurt for the rest of the season. That really hurt Pittsburgh. Obviously, Pittsburgh was able to make the NCAA tournament anyway without him, but John Hoogley was a massive part of their team and he got hurt and he wasn't even really playing as well before his injury and I think that overall that's really tough trying to be able to project how good John Hoogley is going to be for Oklahoma this season when he does suit up for the Sooners because you look at it if he's back to his two year ago form where he averaged 14.8 points per game 7.9 rebounds and 1.3 assists where he shot 47.1 percent from the field 17 percent from the three-point line and 71 percent from the free throw line then he will be a much bigger addition for the Oklahoma Sooners and I think it's very possible that John Hoogley needed a fresh start and if he is healthy which by all accounts he supposedly is healthy then I think that he will have a good season for Oklahoma next year and this is a big addition for Oklahoma in a variety of ways because they're losing their star forward from last season Tanner Groves he was a really good player transferring from Eastern Washington for Oklahoma he had a really good season averaging around 11 points per game for the Sooners last year for Porter Moser and Oklahoma needed to replace that talent and John Hoogley when healthy is a really good center. He's a big body that will be able to bang with any center in the Big 12. And I think that if he is able to step out and shoot some three, something that he was improving at year over year, he only shot 17% from three in his best season of college basketball. That's definitely something he can improve at. And he does shoot 71% at the free throw line, so that's not bad for a six foot nine forward. But I do think that Oklahoma overall, they have a roster that is in a lot of flux right now. They do not have many certainties on their roster as of this time. Porter Moser has a lot of work to do to be able to get Oklahoma in competitive shape for the Big 12 next season. And getting John Hoogley will help. But looking at the Big 12, Oklahoma was the worst team in the Big 12 this past season record-wise. They were 15-17. and 17. They missed the NIT and the NCAA tournament. But by no means were they a bad basketball team. They beat Alabama this past season by 30 points, a team that won the SEC and was also a team that went to the Sweet 16. And Grant Sherfield was the leading scorer for Oklahoma this past season. And in that game, he had over 30 points, and that was huge for Oklahoma. So it goes to show that they were a solid basketball team. They hung with Kansas. They had upset plenty of teams in the Big 12 last year, but they were the team at the bottom of the conference because, unfortunately, somebody has to be at the bottom, and it ended up being Oklahoma. But for the Sooners to be able to improve next season, they're going to have to have some of these other team regress next season not be as good of a team and possibly some of these teams could be taking a step back maybe Texas Tech or Oklahoma State Oklahoma can pass and maybe the Sooners can find a way to squeak into the tournament that way having a barely over 500 record like West Virginia did at 19 and 14 they made the tournament last year so I don't think all is lost for Oklahoma they're by no means a bad basketball team they were really close to being an NCAA tournament team if they had a one three or four more games but John Hoogley is a big addition because Oklahoma is losing Tanner Groves and they're also losing and the aforementioned Grant Sherfield and Jalen Hill as well. Those are huge losses for the Sooners, some of the best basketball players that they had on their team this past season, and I think that they're definitely going to have to find some more talent in the transfer portal to be able to commit to Oklahoma to be able to help the Sooners next season, or it could be another long season. Even with John Hoogley's addition, it's not going to be enough because of the fact they're going to need more wing and guard debt to be able to compete with some of these better teams in the Big 12. And you also have Houston joining the Big 12 next season, and some of these other teams that are going to be joining the Big 12 this year. That's going to be really tough overall for Oklahoma to be able to deal with. And there's a lot of other players that are entering the portal for Oklahoma. Jacob Groves, he's gone. The brother of Tanner Groves, he's in the portal. B. John Cortez is in the portal. And there are several other players as well that are gone for Oklahoma. Not many of those players did play significant roles on the team this past season. But they are still big losses nonetheless because Oklahoma has a lot of roster spots to fill. But with roster spots come opportunities for a lot of players to be able to get playing time in Oklahoma and potentially help the Sooners be better next year. And they have gotten another transfer already besides John Hoogley. Javion McCollum, a transfer from Siena, 
has decided to suit up for the Sooners next season. He averaged 15.9 points per game and 3.9 assists on 43% shooting from the floor for Sienna this past season. That is a really good addition for Oklahoma. Other programs were looking at him, including Nebraska, but he decided to go to the Oklahoma Sooners. That is a big addition for Oklahoma in a variety of ways because they need bodies and they need guys that are just going to be able to come in and have a lot of success scoring the basketball. I don't think Javion McComb will be able to translate the 15.9 points per game that he had at Sienna last season and be able to translate that over to Oklahoma in the Big 12, but he's definitely going to be a guy that I think will average between 8 to 10 points per game, so that's a solid pickup for Porter Moser. And again, getting John Hoogley, that is a huge addition because he's probably going to be able to have a better chance to replicate around that 15 points per game that he had at Pittsburgh two years ago. If he's healthy, if he averages around 12, 13 points per game in the Big 12 and really locks down that center position and maybe even plays better than Tanner Groves did for Oklahoma this past season, while also stepping out and shooting some threes, something Tanner Groves could do as well, I think that really helps out Oklahoma in the front court, and they'll definitely be able to compete with some of these other Big 12 teams in that front, but they're definitely going to need more guard and wing depth, and they have two guys coming in in their 2023 high school recruiting class, Caden Cooper, one of the highest recruits to ever commit to Oklahoma, and Jacob Cole, both are four-star players coming in. I think that they will definitely be guys that can contribute immediately. Both are really talented players, especially Caden Cooper, and if Oklahoma is able to develop them really quickly, then they could have a lot of success for the Sooners next season, but it does go to show you that Porter Moser is able to recruit at Oklahoma. They have NIL going pretty well in college basketball. They can't compete with some of the top programs in college basketball, but to get a guy like Caden Cooper, a player that a lot of other teams wanted out of high school, a lot of top teams in college basketball were looking at him. They were able to land him. That is huge. And John Hoogley, he was being recruited by West Virginia, and I do think that West Virginia probably did lose out on John Hoogley because they did get Jesse Edwards, but there were other programs that wanted John Hoogley, and the fact Oklahoma was able to land him to replace Tanner Groves is big. Javion McCollum is a good addition. They've got a pretty solid recruiting class coming in, albeit the fact that it is a small recruiting class with two four-star players, but both talented players nonetheless. Oklahoma has a lot more work to do in the transfer portal if Oklahoma is going to be a good team in the Big 12 in the future. It's not the fact Oklahoma isn't a good team, but it's just the fact that the conference is so deep. Every team in the Big 12 was good last year, and even if some of these teams take a step back, this season in the Big 12 in college basketball, it's still going to be a really tough league to compete in. Oklahoma is going to have a lot of work cut out for him, and Porter Moser should not be on no hot seat yet. He just got to Oklahoma. He hasn't been there that long since coming over from Loyola, Chicago. I think he's a great coach. I think he can have a lot of success at Oklahoma, but he has a lot of competition for players, and he has a lot of competition in the Big 12 against all these other great teams like Texas, Kansas, Baylor in the Big 12 Conference, but Oklahoma is doing some nice things. John Hoogley's the headline transfer portal player that Oklahoma just brought in, and if he can stay healthy, he can have a lot of success down low for the Sooners next season, and I think he can be a guy that can potentially step out and hit some threes as well. At times, I think that Oklahoma is doing some solid things in the portal, getting some really good players in the high school recruiting class. Porter Moser's doing Yeo men's work for the Sooners, doing a really good job being able to bring in players, but he's got a lot more work to do, but if he can get other players that are as talented as John Hoogley in the transfer portal, get a couple more guys to be able to come in in the wing and guard position for Oklahoma next year, then I do think that the trajectory is pointing upward for Oklahoma and potentially they can get out of the bottom dweller of the Big 12. But John Hoogley is a big addition and he'll definitely help out the Sooners next season. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about John Hoogley transferring from Pittsburgh to Oklahoma and whether you think John Hoogley will be able to help Oklahoma be a better team next year. And if you think Porter Moser can finally be able, especially if he gets a couple more transfers in this offseason, to get Oklahoma out as the bottom dweller in the Big 12 Conference. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description, and I will see you next time.